All right, Hannes. So you're up next. Uh, Arabia, not um, Arabia, not arena with Koreans. What do we do here? That's basically the title of your submission, I think. As so we in that photo here, the Hannes's opponent is playing the Franks. Teal with a big try hard here on this side, but uh, yeah, we're not gonna blame them for that. Franks, best save in the game. We love Franks. I do, I dig Franks. Not gonna blame anyone for picking. The best save in the game, beautiful save, but uh, it begs the question, what do you do with Koreans against Franks on Arabia? And um, I can't say I have the solution, I've been struggling with that myself. I um, don't particularly enjoy being up against Franks, I'll admit. But if anything comes to mind, looking at the map here for Hannes, it is... Drush past cattle crossbows, maybe. Uh, because there is a chance that Frank Skull scouts against you. This is... Not to show about the ELO here, uh, exclamation mark rank. And the player's nickname in chat if you want to check that. Uh, but um, obviously you don't want to go scouts with Koreans, especially not against Franks with their extra hit points in the early field age. Koreans don't get bloodlines, so their cavalry is off limits, basically speaking. But uh, looking at the uh, disposition here, in golds not doing in uh, Hannes any favors here. Two golds to the same side, left side, right next to hill. But... If you want to set back the Franks, you want to do aggression early to disallow them their uh, great booming potential. And one way to do that is to play the map as you see. We see walls going up in the back here, walls going up here as well. Looks like Hannes is just going straight fast castle here, which is doable. But on open maps like Arabia, I definitely favor going uh, Drush fast castle. A Dark Age rush with the militia because uh, then you could hit the Franks berries here, and um, if they're trying thinking about the scouts, you'd uh, keep them busy with their scouts opening, allowing yourself to wall off here. But uh, looking at Inathor's uh, investment here as well, or the planning, there's not really any sign of any scouting on the enemy side yet. We have a Potential scouts run in over here But yeah, so you know, just now about to find Hannes' side and Hannes here is almost fully walled. He's missing the backside, which is <laughs> A potential concern, but then again you want to wall the front lines first and I'm not sure if I understand the Stone investment now, but uh, let's assume that you can get the walls up in place here being Hannes uh, 77 or Z1 seems to hear. Uh, you want to get to the cast lab, get to the war wagons, and if you can get to a critical mass of war wagons, they're just beastly on any map in mass because they're so tanky and have high PS armor, high hit points. Here comes the last bit of walling uh, at the second the Franks reach the pute lake here, and I think that the Inato here with the Franks uh, scout investment won't really be able to accomplish much here. We'll see once the stable goes up here, if there's any... Indication. It's making the scouts blindly here. Inator was over here a moment ago, still has the starting scout intact. I mean, you really, if you're a teal here, you really, really need to scout the enemy side. You need to know... Is there any point at all making extended scouts? Yes, it's there's always a point making more scouts or a extended scouts because you could hit here, you could hit here, you could hit multiple places at the wall and force and reaction maybe over reaction of the opponent here. But uh, for every scout you make, that's 80 food going into and military, any military unit, which in this case won't do any damage for you. Unless you're lucky enough to break through the walls 
which shouldn't happen because you could just place house foundations, market foundations, whatever, to keep the aggression out. And then if your eco management is on point, being harmless 77 here, you'll reach the castle age in no time. Just look at this feudal age, 30 seconds away for harmless here. And the food and gold count definitely allowing, even with the stone investment, even with the. Yeah, everything here. Random policy down here. Uh, yeah, definitely going to beat Frank's big time to the next age here. Tech Chariot, aka Force Chariot, I won a uh, few weeks back, I assume. Hello, hello. I'm back for a few days and then I'm off for a week again and then I'm back completely. So, yes. Indeed. So one good thing for Inator here with the Franks is uh, the scout's investment allows him to see the Blacksmith market going up here, sees the walls, should immediately cancel the scout's production now and place farms ASAP, he's doing that, and aim for the castle age next. We should we gotta discuss tournament rules, yes for sure. Take chariot, 100%. Uh, we'll get to that. Uh, Peck Chariot and I, uh, and probably someone else involved, like uh, Max Secretors. <laughs> Bread will never have to worry about getting house, that's for sure. Peck Chariot and I were kind of landing a. Collaboration tournament uh, likely to happen in August, and it will definitely appeal to non meta players. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, yeah we're planning a tournament. Uh, it's going to be on custom maps, it will appeal to um, non meta players because the tournament will involve maps never seen by the community before. It will be custom maps and it will be unusual custom maps in the sense that you just can't rely on your standard six on sheep or you can't completely rely on the standard build orders. Let's just put it that way because the resources will be different for each map and the map layout will just You'll have to adapt on the fly, and that's the <laughs> easy way to explain it. And uh, we're looking forward to seeing how it progresses, and... I'm not sure if I should reveal it or not, but it should apply... apply it should appeal, sorry, as is the beer talking, but it should appeal to both team players and, uh, and single players, even if it's a team game tournament, because we'll actually... have random teams based on ELO, so presumably even matchups with um, random teams. Okay, I need to get back to the game here. Uh, I'll talk more about our tournament as it goes, but Hannes going for the incredibly greedy fast castle with the Koreans here against Franks. So, 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 unfortunately, doesn't complete the household in time, and he lets the Frank Scouts in here, and now what the heck happens with the Fat Cat layer? I mean, we're in the Castle Age, we beat Frank's big time to the Castle Age, but the Scouts are in here, they're idling so much, just look at the worker efficiency, and uh, Inator here knows what's up, he's spreading up his Scouts here, he's looking for stray builders, and he's playing his Scouts, he's playing Scouts great. Greatly here. Beautifully. He's sniping the stray builders. He's dodging castle fire. He's the, 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 to the best of his ability here. Found an opening. And top side here. And has been able to get four eco kills already. And mind you. When you go any kind of fast castle. And especially straight fast castle. 
any villager lost, that's a big blow to your economy and everything happening here. So Hannes, Hannes is able to contain the... Well, he's dealt with the scouts, with the war wagons here, but he's now behind by two villagers, with Inator reaching the castle age here, and keep in mind Inator has the wheelbarrow race in, in as well, and better eco upgrades being Franks here, because he gets uh, farm upgrades instantly. You'd argue, of course, that a Korean player going full war wagons doesn't need farms or farm upgrades, but that's still only double bit axe here for Hannes 77 and uh, did lose five villagers to the scouts raids as well, but he's moving up forward now. I don't think that's the Inator, that's Aximilator, that's a Norwegian player actually, very solid. Uh, let's try Hannes, actually. Oops. I think Hannes is in the 1200s, yeah. Second castle now for the Koreans going forward on the Frank's base here. Uh, walls seem complete at home, so no need to worry about the knights breaking in anytime soon. Double palisades to the right hand side here, and now applying pressure forward while the knights are on the move. Uh, but I, I like the forward here. This castle goes up. You even uh, you could even use the forward villagers here to snag the forward gold here of um, um, Inator. And you're on the hill here, so when you eventually get to the next age, you could pump out some traps and. Um, yeah, pushback significantly on the Inator side here. Wait, what, what am I having now? War wagons. If you can mass them, it's just a ridiculous unit. I'll give it to Hannes though, he only has fletching. Which is a huge setback for the war against, sadly. Oh, night raids. How did they get in? How did they get in? No, oh, I'm sorry I missed that. So Inator is in Hannes' base again, that's why there are so few villagers working for Hannes here. He uh, has to panic, he has to garrison units again. And that means only four builders gathering wood. No, replenishing the war wagons. Uh, no builder going here to rewall apparently, so that's a very good forward from Inator here. He needs to deal with the forward, yes. But his counter aggression is doing so much work as well. Just look at the worker efficiency for Hannes here. It's down to 17%. That's so low. It's basically no builders working here. Is already down 14 builders here. Oof. And some forward builders here, yeah, you're right. So, uh, Inotor with the forward seat workshop, Mangonel out here, knights raiding. I can't help but feel like uh, Hannes is overreacting here with uh, garrisoning everything here. Uh, then garrison inside the castle. Nothing is happening here. You need to send these guys back to work. He is rewalling the right hand side, which is good. Let's look at the forward. It's probably Mike Ravens forward. This is what's happening here. Uh, Bodkin is in, so that increases the damage output of the war wagons. And uh, being Koreans, you get the defense upgrades instantly. So uh, with the castle age, er, plus two Pierce armor, I guess. That's. You could take out town centers with war wagons like this. But you also want to focus villagers, I'd say, uh, when they are garrison to get kills, even out the eco situation here. Uh, Hannes will need 20 villager kills here. Oh, 10, 15. Yeah, 20, ideally, to even out the situations here. One TC down to the tanks. Maybe another one here as well. But uh, the issue here is that Hannes isn't really. Reproducing the war wagons off, uh, out of these castles here and doesn't have a response to the push forward. But Inator here doesn't have a response back home to the war wagons push either and actually taps out and calls the GT. 
Well, that's a turn of events here. 10 knights, 15 war wagons. That's the maximum amount of units created. I can see how Inotor is demotivated here. On the other hand, uh, where's the stables? Okay. Just part of my language. Screw these rangers. If you're Inotor here, screw the rangers. Use your stables to produce garrison and produce as many knights as you can here. Try and get that plus two defense, prefer the attack as well eventually, and then you could get close to the war against and deal with them. Uh, because Hannes isn't really in a position to replenish the war wagons here, uh, because the gold access has been significantly denied. So this isn't over, it's just in the tour, seeing the home base being breached and doesn't know what to do and skirmishers aren't working. Elite skirmisher, expensive upgrades. Frank skirmishers, they're shit. Make something else. Make just commit to your strengths being knights. Maybe mix in a few pikemen if you can afford that upgrade instead. Because if you get close to the war war wagons with pikes, you could eat them up, chew them up. But <laughs> weird game. Both players forwarding each other, and and it just. Um, and it's abruptly like that. Honest, positive KD here. Economy situation better for the Franks. That's also to be expected here. While the technology shows that scouts timing for Inotor did get in eventually. That shouldn't have happened so that. But Honest turns it around and wins the game eventually anyway. Behind the villages as well, but... Mill tree... Size on point for the Koreans player here. Do you well played though?